following a study of genomes of various variants of COVID-19 virus from over 2 lakh samples, scientists have predicted that the persistence of pandemic may lead to the emergence of newer regional strains with improved fitness. The scientists analyzed over 2 lakh SARS-CoV-2 genome sequences from 155 countries which had 2.58 million mutation as of late last year as compared to the reference Wuhan strain. They found about 39% synonymous mutation, mutations that are usually minor and do not change the amino acid while about 51% were non-synonymous mutations which are mutation that changes the amino acid. Upon comparing the variant predominance in the three new strains, Noted researchers attached with the Integrated Cancer Genomic Laboratory, Homi Baba National Institute and Institute of Advanced Virology in Kerala found out four common hotspot mutations. In their paper, Evolving Insight from SARS-CoV-2 Genome from 2 lakh COVID-19 patient says that N501Y was the base mutation in all the three variants, with the South African and the Brazilian strain showing additional E48 4K mutation in the spike protein. Neither of these two mutations, however, were seen in the Indian samples, and only two out of the 3,361 samples showed S477N mutation. The scientist, however, said that it is unknown if the absence of these mutations, which have increased binding affinity to the human ACE2 receptor, could account for the lower transmission in India compared to the UK, Brazil, and South Africa. Even a modest increase in the infectivity rate of a regional variant or a reduction in the vaccine efficiency or increased transmission would require immediate stringent measures to be put in place to contain the spread of the strain. In India, following the concerns of the spread of UK variant of the SARS-CoV-2, the National Task Force on COVID has suggested doing genome sequencing of 5% of all the COVID cases nationwide. However, it is not yet clear whether this exercise has kicked off. India has carried out far less gene mapping compared to the UK and US till last month.